Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. And I finally got it. I finally got it. Yep, yeah, there it is, my Colonial Candle haul. Actually, I think in total I probably had five boxes. I went crazy, crazy with them. Okay, they had a sale 40% off between right after Christmas and, be, and January 2nd. And I went mad, mad with power. Plus a couple of the scents that I wanted went in their sales section. So it was even better. Please, let's not go there. Anyway, I am going to start from the little ones that I purchased up all the way up to the 22-ounce candles. I'm not going to mention color. It's not that I know some people get very much into color of candles. Honestly, when I see a candle and it's in front of me, I'll sniff it. I don't really care what color it is. Uh, if, the co if it smells good, color doesn't mean that much to me, but sniffing does and scent description does. Anyway, I will get started with a 3.5 ounce in the scent Teakwood in Amber. Was interested in it because I wanted some woody fragrance. It smells woody. It smells a little bit like men's cologne. It's nice. You're going to get more amber with it, but definitely a little bit like men's cologne. So let me keep going. Anyway, this other one, Joyful Noel. Now this is a Christmas scent. It smells clean, it smells fresh, it smells green. It smells good. So there's Joyful Noel. I hope it throws well. It's a little, not light, but it's very nice. I will continue. Willow Pear. I like pear scents. I know Lisa shares. Hi, Lisa. She did say that this is one of her favorites. Um, I bought two of them. I do smell pear in it. It's very nice. It, for some reason, it, it reminds me of like an Anjou pear. Sort of reminds me of a chocolate covered pear. I, I hope we'll see what happens. Okay, grapefruit and wheatgrass. Bought two of these too. See, two. Yeah. Um, you do smell grapefruit. This one, I know it's gonna sound bizarre. It reminds me of Irish spring soap. Very clean, very fresh, very nice. We shall see. So these are the last of my babies, the little guys, 3.5. Now I am gonna go into the eight ounce candles. Now, Rio de Janeiro line, you know I was gonna get another one of these. Actually, I got four of these. Caipirinha, which is a green lime scent. Love the fragrance. When I saw it in the sales section, because initially when it was 50% off on Cyber Monday, it was just its normal price. I do believe so, but they put it in the sales section, which means that it went down to, I think, $7.50. So I got this half 40% off. I bought four additional jars to the one that I'm burning. And I didn't even want to burn. The one that I'm burning now, I got, and I reviewed it already. You can check my um, review for it. Gorgeous. Love the scent. Pure lime zest. No vanilla. Lime zest with a little tweak of alcohol. Love it. So I will keep going. This one. Christmas. This is from their Christmas line. They finally put it in their sales section. Birch and Clove. Interested in it because it, I wanted the scent of woods and I love the scent of clove. So mixed together, I figured let me give it a try. It's sweet. You can smell cinnamon in it and I do believe cinnamon is inside. It's really a lovely scent. Got two of them. Okay, two people. Crazy, crazy. Keep going. I wanted this one too. This one was not available in the sales section. This one I got directly because I wanted to try it. It was 40% off um, apricot and mint. There it is, apricot and mint. It's basically because I like apricots are like peaches i wanted to see what they could do with it and i like the scent of mint it's very cool and colonial is one of the, the brands or one of the companies that do like to blend a lot of fragrances together village does it uh goose creek does it colonial does it not one or two couple of little fragrances we're talking about four or five they, they just blend and blend and blend Apricot and mint smells gorgeous. It's like ripe, luscious, juicy apricots mixed with just a hint of fresh green mint. Beautiful. Hopefully it'll throw, but it's beautiful. Here we go. Absinthe. I hope I said that right. And bergamot. Okay, why? See the black licorice on the label? 
I like licorice. I like red licorice. I like black licorice. Yes to eat. Love and I like the scent. You smell black licorice most definitely. And you smell the the green freshness of bergamot. It's beautiful. I hope it throws well. I like it's earthy. It's it's really nice. So that's the end of my eight ounce ones. I don't yeah. I'm pretty good now we shall graduate into and by the way this was a recommendation of susan well susan d purchased it so i listened and see susan it smells good hi susan it smells good you're right okay now part of the part of this collection rio de janeiro the one that didn't come in the 22 ounce what can, what can I say? They put all the Rio de Janeiro candles in the sale center. Again, the 22 ounce normally runs for $25. Since it was in the sales section, it was half price for $12.50. Plus, I got 40% off. Awesome. What happens? I got a guava and papaya. Believe me, if this were in, it wasn't available. Guava and papaya, though, I did get. And when I got it, it's creamy it's smooth you can smell both of them is it anything like the pure radiance guava i like pure radiance guava a lot you can smell a little bit of both scents i think there's something else in there again they like to mix their fragrances it's it's fine we shall see I have to give things a chance you never know what they're really going to smell like until you start burning them and then sitting back and enjoying the hopeful fragrance. Anyway, next one, citrus boysenberry. Why did I get it? I do like the scent of boysenberries and I love the scent of citrus. So you get this freshness of the citrus, that nice clean brightness of a citrus, plus the deep rich background of a boysenberry. It really is beautiful. So I am sincerely hoping that it's going to throw both fragrances into the air and just going to play, going to play and mix beautifully. Anyway, here is my last, my beautiful, my 22 ounce candle. <sighs> the tragique, que tragique. Okay. Normally, a colonial candle will pack all large candles and even some of these in this large square little cardboard box that has a separation and they put that in and then they'll put that in the other large box that I showed you with bubble wrap and paper and this and that unfortunately this time they did not have a chance to do that so they wrapped all of it in bubble wrap I guess the orders were so big and so much and the demand was a lot so I got my large candle there it is my southern tea something that i was looking forward to susan d recommended this and please i will tell you why in a second what happened when i got this poor large candle i get it in bubble wrap the candle is literally shaking the wax is coming out wax came out completely the top is loose in the bubble wrap i guess probably they were packing it so quickly that things happened so my thought is I dropped the wax back in and I put the lid back on and the lid, it was loose in the bubble wrap, would not fit snugly inside. After examining the top, I had noticed the reason for it not fitting in properly was because the inside lip, you can't see it, was chipped. So I did call Colonial Candle and I did mention to them, hey, listen, I was thinking of just putting the wax inside and lighting it up, but it's chipped. Uh, the inner lip do you think anything will happen and they said to me you know what don't burn it don't worry about it because there's a possibility that the temperature when you start lighting it the chip is going to crack is going to go you know like it's cracked in this little piece here the crack will get wider and it will so maybe something will happen just leave it alone so what are they nice enough the nice people of colonial candle are going to replace my candle and they're going to send me another 22 ounce candle in the scent southern tea which smells freaking awesome it's beautiful this is my this is what i have in my southern tea nothing but a large wax chunk but it smells awesome it smells like sweet tea leaves mixed with a tweak of lemon it is so lovely and this is cold people 
I don't know what it's gonna smell like warm melting but this smells fabulous and Susan D hi Susan she recommended this she had a big haul she said this was fabulous Susan you're right oh my god it smells so good so I'm gonna get a replacement from Colonial Candle which is great thank you Colonial but you know oh it smells so good so there we go now that is not the only thing that I did uh, get because I went a little crazy I did okay Here's what happened. I started getting wax melts, and some of them were through the recommendations of other people. Again, Susan, this is one of your recommendations, River Sien. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but this is a nice florally fragrance. It's not too bad because it's very light. It's very soft. I like it too. I like this, okay? And this comes if people are not this is six cubes it comes in this little oval container this was half price I got it for two bucks plus again 40% off I got two of them two of them yeah there you go two I want to try this this is good now this one vanilla lavender okay vanilla lavender I think Susan D and uh, probably Norma from Candle Dancer they got them I like this people you smell lavender you smell the vanilla it's definitely there but it's not it's earthy like a smell in it but again since colonial mixes a lot of their fragrances I see I will see what happens but it's nice it's a nice fragrance now here is something that I wanted to try bayberry okay I know it's a Christmas scent I know it is, but what the heck. I wanted to try it. I'm glad I did because you do smell the green of, you smell green, you smell cinnamon, you smell a tweak of clove. It's really a nice fragrance. In a way, I sort of regret not purchasing the candle. It's just that I, I've purchased Bayberry from Yankee and I was a little hesitant in purchasing this one because I wasn't sure if it was similar to Yankee it's not it's very it's very sweet I don't know if they're gonna have if they if they have another sale I may get a small candle but I did get the Bayberry in this and don't think that I didn't go crazy because I did go crazy since Caipirinha was in the, this little form wax melt I bought four of them yeah, people, four, okay? And I have one in my wax melter going, and let me tell you, it's super strong. I did put two of these cubes inside my wax melter. The whole house smells. It's gorgeous. Now, I do have to, I know people were mentioning with this, it's soft wax. If you're similar or familiar, familiar, you know how uh, Colonial, and I'm sorry, Goose Creek Candles wax melts is. It's similar in formula to that one it has it's a softer it's not going to be like yankee candles wax melts or better bat um better homes and gardens it's not a paraffin it's not a hard wax it is a little softer it to me it's very much like uh goose creek candle or um, you know their wax melt so there you go i did go one crazy or i just wanted to test one more thing it was in the sales section i wanted to try it yeah, I got a wax warmer, okay, in this little ginger jar shape. I haven't tried it yet, people, but it has a very nice, wide, smooth surface on the top. This was normally $10. They brought it down to $5. I got it 40% off. and it comes in white. It comes in ivory, and it's nothing but a wax warmer. It's a one-piece one. I will try it. It has a nice big... I was wondering about the surface, whether or not it would be big. It is really pretty big I'm sh uh, it's shallow though but I think maybe even a w Yankee Candle wax tart should work okay with this and I like the back it has a nice big mouth but again it came in white it came in ivory so this one is white by the way I don't know if you can tell but this one is white so I wanted to try it but 40% off please it was like three and change or something what the heck people you gotta try it and I wanted one because there are areas that I can't put candles in or I figured even the bathroom put a little 
you know, the tea light in it, the unscented ones, melt something up there. The only thing I usually go after, and I'm not going to lie, normally I do like the two-piece ones because they're a pain in the neck to clean. One thing, I did mention that I am burning, or I have melted already a Goose Creek candle one um, of the soft wax and this one. I've put them in the freezer, okay? The thing to take out the thing, the, the, the wax that has already depleted of fragrance. And even though I put them in the freezer and I take this stuff out, it's this, the consistency is sort of soft. My suggestion to you is probably, I know people use cotton ball things when it's melted, they use cotton balls and they take them out. Great idea. I usually have a tendency if it's already melted, if it's too soft and too mushy, even in the freezer, I'll pour it out into an empty unused can that I'm about to throw it out when it's, you know, when it's warm, be careful though, people, I will carefully pour the warm wax into something that I don't need. Paper towels are everywhere. So there it is. That's what I experienced with these kind of things. That's it. That's it. So did I do well? I think I did pretty well. I went a little crazy. What the heck? There was a sale and it was a good sale. Oh God, this smells so good. Southern tea, Southern tea people. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Anyway, I think I'm going to put all my stuff away. I think I did well. I think I showed you everything. Anyway, thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe and take care everyone. Bye-bye.